Salvation Army's Angel Tree program is wrapping up. In fact, today was the last day to get your gifts in. 16 WAPT's Jennifer Ortega was at the Metro Center Mall today where gifts were being processed. She has the story. This week, and all the stores were almost empty. I was a little nervous. Earlier this week, Salvation Army leaders were scrambling to find gifts for their Angel Tree program. Saturday, over 1,200 gifts were donated just in time. We only have three days to get everything processed. We have today, Monday, and Tuesday, and then we start distributing on Wednesday. People from all over the metro are excited to volunteer and get to work. And so I'm just really glad to be a part of this actual uh, experience and not only having my colleagues from Mississippi College to be here today as well, but just the being a blessing to others. We were, get, you know, had an opportunity to come out to give gifts, our time, which is priceless, um, and also to be able to work with other uh, volunteers. Nearly 200 angels weren't adopted this year. That's out of a total of 4,000. Captain Jesse Chapman says they haven't given up. They'll accept gifts until December 22nd. It feels like we're coming together as a community because we have the fire department here, we have the police department that have come together. Several colleges have come out and brought their, um, their, their people with them to just try to volunteer, try to help. Chapman says after Saturday, the gifts won't go to a specific angel, but will surely go to a child in need. In Jackson, Jennifer Ortega, 16, WAPT News. So again, today was the last day, but the Salvation Army is still accepting gifts until the 22nd. Now those gifts will go to any child in need that's left.